हेलो एंड वेलकम टू कृषि जागरण बिजनेस दैट कीप्स यू अपडेटेड विद ऑल द एग्री न्यूज ऑफ द नेशन दिस इज ज्योति सिंह लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट द टॉप हेडलाइंस ऑफ द डे पीएम मोदी कॉल्स फॉर ग्लोबल मास मूवमेंट अगेंस्ट क्लाइमेट चेंज स्पार्क्स होप फॉर अ ग्रीनर फ्यूचर इंडिया प्रायोरिटाइज डोमेस्टिक डेयरी सेक्टर ओवर इंपोर्ट्स फॉर इंप्रूव्ड सप्लाई सेज पुरुषोत्तम रूपाला वीट हार्वेस्ट गेन्स मोमेंटम ओवर 5000 मिलियन टन्स रीचेस मंडीज The exports surged by 18% to rupees 6,582 crore in financial year 2023, but exporters remain cautious due to Iran issue. Normal monsoon forecast eases crop and growth concerns for India. Himachal Pradesh government is offering 1% interest on education loans for student. Cotton seed sales is set to increase as Kharif 2023 acreage likely to surpass 13 million tons hectares. possible reduction in potash subsidy by government due to softening global prices pm modi also addressed a group of world leaders via video link on friday that when people realize how powerful little acts in their daily lives can be the environment will benefit greatly people all over the world are hearing a lot of about climate change many of them are anxious because they don't know what to do about it he said They are continually led to believe that only government or global organizations can play a role. If individuals realize they can help, their fear will transform into actions. Modi stated at the World Bank organized making it personal. How behavioral change can address climate change conference. Modi praised the World Bank for holding the symposium on the impact of behavioral change on climate change. adding it was a nice to see become a global movement modi cited mission life and initiative he and the un secretary general inaugurated last october saying it is about democratizing the fight against climate change climate change cannot compete it slowly at conference table Union Cabinet Minister of Fisheries Animal Husbandry and Dairying Parshottam Rupala has made it clear that India will not be importing dairy products like butter. He also stated that supplies used for the dairy industry will improve with the help of huge untapped domestic sector. There is no truth in its shortage of dairy products. No import will take place Rupala who is in charge of Ministry of Fisheries Animal Husbandry and Dairying told reporters on the sideline of an event. He said there is no shortage of milk in the country and government is regularly monitoring. The demand has increased. We have huge untapped area. We will try to tap that. We will manage it properly and there is no need to worry. He said and urged farmers and consumer not to worry about it. Wheat is arriving at all grain markets in the district at full speed although lifting of wheat bags has yet to pick up. According to source about half of the produce has arrived in grain markets in the area so far but the late lifting of the produce has caused problems for farmers and arthias in the district until saturday evening 7.5 lakh bags of procured wheat were lying in the open at the samalkha grain market 4 lakh bags at the panipat grain market around 2 lakh bags at the madloda grain market 1.5 lakh at the israna grain market and about 2.5 lakh bags at the bapoli grain market in the district according to vijay kumar who works at the panipat grain market the delivery of goods at the market began on april 1st but hosting of procured wheat has yet to commence two organization hafid and haryana warehouse corporation were acquiring wheat crop at the panipat grain market this year but the tendering procedure has been delayed he said India which relies on rain for the vast share of water forecast that the monsoon will be normal this year potentially blustering the outlook for agriculture production and economic growth showers during the June September season are likely to be 96% of the long term average according to India meteorological department the estimate comes a day after private forecaster skymet predicted a below normal monsoon saying rains may reach only 94% of the benchmark hundred of millions of farmers across asia's third largest economy depend on the annual monsoon to nourish their field ample rain may boost production of crops like rice soya bean corn and sugarcane helping to lower food price and adding the government's effort to cool inflammation the weather office said that the probability of a normal monsoon is as much as 35% this year Rainfall between 96% and 104% of the historical average is considered normal. Last year monsoon was 106% of the average, boosting food grain output in 2022-23. 
The weather department forecast has a margin of error of 5%. According to the India Meteorological Department, the southwest monsoon 2023 is likely going to be normal. This is despite IMD also stating that the second half of the primary rainfall season for India would witness the impact of developing EI Nino event in the equatorial Pacific Ocean, which generally dampens monsoon rainfall. The India Meteorological Department, in its first long range monsoon forecast issued on April 11, predicted that India would receive 96% of its long period average rainfall in the monsoon season, which usually begins around the first week of June. IMD calculates the chance of this happening at 35%. The LPA for the period between June and September in 87 cm and is calculated as the average rainfall between 1971 to 2020. This would mean there would be 83.5 cm of rainfall across India. Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu, the Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, has decided to provide education loans to students at 1% of the interest. April 10, 2023, the announcement was made. This decision has been taken to aid poor students and motivate them to pursue higher education and professional studies. The scheme will launch within this financial year. The statement stated that the main purpose of the scheme is to assure that no poor child in the state is deprived of higher and professional education in want of financial resource. According to Sukhu, a 1% interest rate is intended to generate a sense of responsibility among the beneficiaries so that they are encouraged to succeed. In addition to this, 20,000 matrices girls students studying in government institution will given a subsidy of Rs 25,000. Everyone is very optimistic about this year because cotton is in high demand due to lower production. The domestic textile industry is increasingly demanding cotton, stated Ram Kondinia, Director General of the Federation of Seed Sector of India. Cotton seed consumption is expected to rise to 4.8 to 4.9 crore packets in the current season up from 4.2 crore packets last year. Given that two acres of land require three packets of cotton seed, cells of 4.9 crore packets may cover 13 million hectares. Cotton average was 12.75 million has last year. If farmers saved seeds are added to the coverage in the following Kharif season, the area might rise up to 10% according to the industry analyst. The IMD forecasts typical monsoon rainfall of 96% of the long-term average of 87 cm in 2023. According to industry experts, the nutrition-based subsidy for Kharif 2023 will be significantly lower than the Rabi labels. Rs 98.02 per kg for nitrogen, Rs 66.93 per kg for phosphate, Rs 23.65 per kg for potash and Rs 6.12 per kg for sulphur. Global price for potash and phosphorus have fallen since October-November last year and the government has made the easier for some Indian companies to enter into long-term contracts to source imported fertilizers. Both of these factors will help reduce the subsidy, stated a top official with a major corporation. According to Fertilizer Secretary Arun Singhal, World Wild Potash price have dropped from Rs 590 per ton to Rs 422 per ton. As price begin to fall, we can naturally consider price reduction. But it would happen gradually, Singhal said in response to question regarding plantation growers complaining about the high MOP pricing. That's all for today's news. For more updates on Agri News, stay tuned with Krishi Jagran Business.